All right, welcome back here. So this is a limit uh, that we were able to compute previously by doing a process called rationalizing the or numerator. Uh, so we're able to work things out. But now we just want to uh, approach this without having to use these other rules. Uh, and we're just going to focus on Lopi Tail's rule. So very quickly, if you plug 4 into the top, that would be 13 minus 4 would be 9. Square root of 9 is 3. 3 minus 3 is 0. 4 minus 4, of course, is 0. So we are, again, dealing with a 0 over 0 limit. Again, very important that you check that, because if it's not, then any kind of Lopi Tail stuff doesn't work. So we apply Lopi Tail's rule. And as X approaches 4, which good news here, uh, uh, the derivative of X minus 4 is just 1. So we have to do the derivative of the numerator. Uh, so that means we have to do the derivative of the square root of 13 minus X. Remember, square root of 13 minus X can be rewritten as 13 minus X to the 1 half. So now using the chain rule and the power rule, derivative of 13 minus X to the 1 half will be 1 half times 13 minus x to the negative one-half times the derivative of 13 minus x times the derivative of 13 minus x, which would be a negative 1. Okay, so we're going to have one-half times 13 minus x to the negative one-half and then times minus 1. And so now we no longer have a zero over zero limit. So just doing some rearranging of stuff, putting it into a format where we can talk about it. If the limit as x approaches 4, uh, the 1 half will go to the bottom. Uh, minus 1 will stay put up top. And move the x to the, the stuff to the negative 1 half to the bottom as well, which will make that a square root. Now we can just allow x to become 4. So we can allow x to become 4. That's going to be 13 minus 4 will be 9. Square root of 9 is 3. 2 times 3 is 6. So this thing overall approaches negative 1 sixth. Approaches negative 1 sixth. Let's consider a second example here. Uh, limit. As x approaches 3 of x to the 4 plus 4 over x minus 5. Okay. Real quickly, if you try to evaluate that, it's not a 0 over 0 limit. It's not 0 over 0. So that means no hospital for him. All right? No hospital for him. We just compute it. We just compute it. 3 squared plus 4 over 3 minus 5 is a negative 13 over 2. All right? So no 0 over 0 limit. So it, it doesn't work. Right, and you can see if you try to do this derivative of the top, derivative of the bottom stuff, you're going to get a wrong answer, right? Because that'll be 4x to the third, right? 4x to the third on top and 1 on the bottom. If you plug 3 into 4x to the third, you're going to have 4 times 3 cubed, 4 times 27, which is 108, divided by 1, which is 108. 108, which is definitely not negative 13 halves. All right, so uh, very important uh, with Louis Pitel's role that you only use it when it applies. And that requires us to have a zero over zero limit right now. So be aware of that. Keep that in mind uh, as we work with that.